Hi friends, in this video we will try to understand what is meant by data abstraction. Most of the time in the interviews we do face a question what is abstraction and in real time programming most of the people are confused with the term what is data abstraction and how do we achieve this. In this video I will try to brief you about what abstraction is. Say for example if I say an employee you will be getting an idea that an employee means he should have some employee number, he should have some name, he should work in some particular job, he should earn some salary. We are not bothered about whether that employee is a manager or a salesman or any kind of representative. To understand the concept of abstraction in a simple terms, when I wanted to work with data abstraction, I don't concentrate on an employee, for example, Shaker, or I don't concentrate on an employee called as Srinivas. Say, assume that Shaker is an employee and Srinivas is an employee. He will have some particular number and uh, he may be working as a salesman with a salary of say for example 7000 and he may have some employee number and he may be a clerk earning a salary of 8000. We don't create an individual class for Shaker or Srinivas. What we try to do is we will try to concentrate the one which is going to be common for both. I need something for maintaining the employee number so I try to pull this into a class called as employee. So I will have a class employee where I try to maintain employee number. I try to identify that the job we are going to have it so it's going to be the job. So I will try to identify that I need something called as a job and we have something like salary so I would like to maintain the salary and this is Shaker and this is Srinivas these are the two employees so I need to maintain something called as employee name now I don't concentrate on any specific person we try to concentrate on something which is going to remain common for all Whenever we say a data abstraction, we don't think about the unnecessary information. We always focus on the essentials. We try to concentrate on the relevant data. We try to abstract the irrelevant information and unnecessary data we try to remove it. When we try to say a data abstraction, we don't think about how an employee class should look like. What we think about is in this particular requirement if I wanted to have an employee class what are all the details I require based on that particular thing we try to define this. So when we try to define it we consider this as a data abstraction. We will try to abstract the entire information and we try to say employee for this organization all the common details we will try to maintain. Hope you have understood what is data abstraction. Thank you.